Music, when it came into my, you know, I always liked this thing on TV called Your Hit Parade. I used to watch that with my parents, and it was sort of interesting. And then I heard this record in 1956 that just, I was 12 years old, I went crazy. Don't Be Cruel by Elvis Presley. So, my, my, we had no money. My neighbors bought a record player for me and just gave it to me for my birthday or something. And I don't even know, but anyway, I, it hooked into the back of the television, which we had a TV. We were the last ones in our neighborhood to get one and it played through the speakers. And I used to listen to this record for hours and hours and hours. I would climb in the back of the TV where the speakers were and just sit back there and listen. I drove my parents nuts. And that was that record just destroyed me. The future Don't be cruel. Right. Hours. Don't be cruel to who heart is true. I don't want no other love. Baby, it's just you and you get up. For Christmas of 56, I got records for my collection. Now, before that, I collected stamps and coins and um, tools, and I can't even nail a nail, hammer a nail. But anyway, I, for some reason, I've always collected stuff. January, which is a week after, two weeks after Christmas is my birthday, I got a transistor radio for my, for my birthday. It cost $60 in Emerson. I don't know how I, what are you doing? Hello, Hammer. Go ahead, Come on. man. Okay, I got an Emerson transistor radio for my birthday. That was the end of me. I took it everywhere I went. I cut a book open, you know, in school, you know, which I hated school. N nobody hated school more than me. But anyway, <laughs> I shows. cut open, I cut a, uh, I, I found a big thick book called The Life of Samuel Johnson, whoever he was. I cut the whole middle out and took the radio. And I punched holes in the cover and put a book cover over it. And I used to sit there and I'd be, you know, listening to the radio the whole time in school. At night, under my parents said no. I'd put it under my pillow. I'd be listening to arena records. Some January of '57. Forget it. I'm done. I had more. I, all I did, everything I got was money. Records, records, records. I had paper route. I got you know whatever I could do to get money. It had to be records. Anyway, so '57 on, I was nuts for records, and I had like thousands and thousands of records. By '59, I realized this is insane. You know, my parents weren't too thrilled with me with this whole thing. I just was, oh, I played every morning when I got up, got dressed and all, I was playing records. In 59, I got a tape recorder because I was spending all my money with this. I says, you know what, maybe maybe there's an easier way to do this. So a tape recorder, I started taping the radio. So 59 into 60, 60 all of 60, I never left the house. It was just, I, you know, I, all I did was in front of the radio and that's when I found black music, black radio. Everything in blue boxes is black, R&B. I mean, I bought everything, it wasn't color, but I was listening, I was on white radio stations, and back then, there was black and there was white, it was a, it was a definite, you know, there was very, the only way a black record was on a white station was if it sold enough copies and it crossed over, they call it, but before that, I mean, so I'm fooling around with the dial, and I hit this black station, and I went, oh, what is this, and I really got into that. You asked me why it's vinyl for me, and not iPods, and not CDs, and not whatever, mainly because I grew up with vinyl and you know what when I looked at when I was a kid when I was 12 years old I used to look at the label for some reason it wasn't just the music it was the label for some reason the art I, I started to look at who wrote these things the publishing it wasn't even just the record I, it meant more to me and it's vinyl and it, by the way this is back when it was one song my favorite type of music, well, it's kind of hard. What do you think my favorite type of music is? Expensive records. <laughs> yeah, for him, because that's yeah, what right. he sells. No, Anyhow, in other words, it, if it's cheap, I don't have it. It's good soul music with a meaning to it. The lyrics that have to have a meaning to it. Plus the rhythm also. That's my type of music. And it, I, I'm not really, should I say, selective in my music. I like all types of music. Which is I got good. Him, I got him before the deal because I have him thinking, what, what's this kind of music? I love to know he doesn't know. No, I can't figure it out. Uh, but guess what? But I like that. I respect that. That he comes in here and he'll take a pile of anything 
and and they'll listen to it. I mean, he's he digs, he gets into it. It's not like most people only want what somebody else told him was good. Most people in this world are sheep. This one here has his own taste. He'll turn people on, like I do. He'll turn people on to his music. The, the, he knows what his yes. friends, he knows what his peers like, and he can. He, and he'll say, "Give me five. Give me the. Th give me ten of this. Give me five of this." And he'll trade them for his to his friends to get other things he needs. See, so we all we do. all tend to do the same things. As he was saying earlier, he would go around and sell his go to New York, buy records, and sell them for five bucks. I trade mine. But it's the same thing to get mm -hmm. records you don't That's have. Right, I don't it's have. It's the same thing. Like. Whether it's money or trading, it still comes out the mm -hmm. same. It's about getting things you don't have and using that, you know, to use it. It's bartering in a sense. Mm -hmm. I'll trade too. If I can get records, by the way, I got into this to have the best record collection of the kind of music that I love. That was the reason. I didn't get into this to make money. Now, we all have to make money, but that was never even part of it. And I never thought I could do this full time until I had a fight with my boss. And then he said, well, you don't need me. Why don't you just get the hell out of here? So I did. 